subscribe to my channel. It's here, and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We are multicultural, we are inclusive, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're my doll, baby. So happy. <laughs> I'm like, uh, so happy that you are here. Okay, so today I am doing a little wig coaching, a little wigs, wigs tips. <laughs> It's early. Today I'm doing a little wig tip video. So these are tips to um, styling and slaying your wig so that it looks natural when it is uh, curly synthetic. Because I think curly synthetic wigs are one of those wigs that is really difficult to uh, make look natural. I'm gonna put the clips in on what this wig looked like. This is just a cheap Amazon wig. If I can find one similar, I will put it down below. But this is more of tips on whatever curly synthetic wig that you get. Um, overall, just a sort of disclaimer side note, curly synthetic wigs are really the hardest in terms of maintenance and keeping them in longevity just because of the fibers, how they look, how they stay. Just like with natural curly hair, it's it's beautiful, but it's a pain in the bumby. So just keep that in mind. But the other part of it is that uh, being someone who has had natural curly hair their whole life, finding a wig that actually mimic that is really difficult. I will put a playlist down below of my natural, of the curly wigs that I have. And I will make a list too. And I'll put up in the corner a picture of like my top five. And that's a little bonus for you if you're watching this video. My top five synthetic curly wigs that I really thought uh, were mimicking curly hair and you can kind of check the, them out this one is really doing some i'm really liking what they were doing what i found with a lot of synthetic curly wigs if it's not sort of like that free parting four by four is they only have like about this much lace and to work with so actually i think that's a good situation so what i did with this wig and i think that to make a synthetic curly wig look good is what you would do is called the flip over method so you'll see me sort of flipping the hair over i think not having a defined part is really important so what i did was i used this curling hot uh hot comb to sort of pull these hairs up so it'll naturally come over and then sort of gruff up the part a little bit and then i sprayed it so that it would stay like that then I took my rat tail comb and I pulled some pieces out, you know, some tendrils, because if you have natural curly hair, you have tendrils. So I did pull some tendrils out and then I razor cut them because if you know, your curls aren't the exact same length everywhere. I also think having a curly wig where it is sort of like layered uh, makes it not only look more realistic but if you have natural curly hair that isn't layered when you go to your stylist they layer it because if it's too heavy at the bottom it just isn't flattering the other tip is what i do is i take some pieces and i pull them apart i do not use a comb on uh, these synthetic wigs but i pull some of the curls apart to piece them apart and then where it's sort of getting like a little bit I would say frizzy, but that's like in how natural curly hair looks. I take a little bit of oil shine spray just so it's not like frizzy looking, but I still want that full PC sort of flyaway kind of look because that's how natural curly hair looks. I did use the oil shine spray just right in this part just to sort of gruff it up so there isn't a sort of defined part. It is sort of that flip over situation. I used a little dry shampoo in there just to, mostly for the smell, but also sometimes curly wigs can be a little bit too shiny and if they are dry shampoo is perfect for that i used my um aussie hairspray i use this on all my synthetic wigs i don't have an issue with it. i wash them regularly but if you are worried you can get a spray that is made for synthetic wigs but i love this i've used this for years and i've never had an issue i've used it on every single wig um that i have yeah and the other thing is to make sure in the back that you're really fluffing it up in the crown because natural curly hair is really full and you don't want it to be sort of flat. So let's look at her from the back. So yeah, making sure you really gruff her up right in here. I think any wig right in the crown can give you away. But you see how there's some pieces sticking out, you know? And for curly wigs, you can do that. It does. The less perfect, the better, because natural curly hair does what it wants 
okay so if you want this to mimic a, a real natural curly hair you can't it can't be perfectly quaffed because if it's humid if it's not humid if it's winter if it's not winter like natural curly hair does what it wants when it wants because it wants and so that's what i'm saying don't use a comb on it you know have these tendrils and see how like when i use the rat tail comb um i have different different lengths of razoring um, you can get them wet and sort of make tendrils around your fingers if you want. I pieced some of the curls out. Some of them I left intact. You know, some of them I pulled out a little bit and then used the shine spray. And yeah, so I used this sort of flip over type method. And I think the result is really, you know, it mimicked how my hair looked when it was long. And so you can do, this is water and you can sort of put water on it and then, then do the little curly tendril thing. And then if you feel like it's kind of losing its luster, uh, you can go ahead and wet it and wash it and then start over again. So that is what I have for you for this quick tips on how to make a synthetic curly wig look more natural. Um, if you have additional tips, please put them down below. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and put that down below. If there's another, um, I'm going to put my playlist for all of my wig tips videos that I have. I do have a weekly wig coaching live video podcast, so I will link the ones that I've already done. If you have a question that you would want more of a live interaction on, please put that down below and I will try to get that on my next live wig coaching podcast it is weekly so join me for the one uh this week or next depending on when this video goes up and if you haven't subscribed please do so because those live weekly sessions are subscriber only in the chat okay so get subscribed so that you can interact with me during the session and if you have you're my doll baby and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>